Young Harry was once stuck in a stage of inconsistency. For the first entire year, I was just constantly re relapsing, going back to these bad habits, going back to like video games, junk food, all this stuff, and I saw no progress for an entire year straight. And this really ruined my self-image because now I have this guilt inside of me that every single time I try to do something that is, you know, going to benefit me, I keep on messing it up. And this really reflected on my entire life. I saw no progress in my business. I saw no progress in school. My grades were terrible. My mental health was terrible. Everything was just terrible, terrible, terrible. And to make matters even worse, I couldn't even stay consistent with meditating for three minutes every single day. And, and keep in mind, I was putting in a lot of work. I was working for three hours a day on my business. I was studying for two hours a day. I was going to the gym. I was reading. I was basically basically trying to be my perfect self but I still couldn't make progress in anything and obviously anyone in this position would start to lose hope when they literally see everything in their world just crumble down everything that they're striving towards their goals just non-existence and that was until I bought the book The Daily Stoic by Ryan Holiday the reason why I got this book is because I'd already been researching stoicism and I really needed this in my life because when you're not making progress when everything in your life is just crumbling down you need resilience and if you don't have that you're nothing so there I am just waiting for this book to arrive and as soon as it gets in the mail, I just instantly rip the box open and I just flip through every single page. So it's in this format where there's one page for every single day and it goes off the entire year. So I wouldn't really care about this, so I'll just read the book like page to page for an entire day. And there was a specific page in this book that really changed my life forever. And if I did not read this page, if I didn't even get this book, this YouTube channel wouldn't exist and you'll probably find me on a random Overwatch lobby just trash talking kids. And I know what's really funny, as soon as I read this page, my all my mental health problems went. I would actually start to see some progress in my business, my grades were improving. It was like this, this random page, this random thing that I'm about to talk about, just flipped the switch. It like put all the pieces together and I was able to actually progress. So now we're gonna get into the lesson that I'm about to teach you. You see, Miyamoto Masashi was a Japanese philosopher and he's probably well known, you probably already know who he is. He's a very talented swordsman. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna read the quote that really changed my life. It isn't events themselves that disturb people, but only their judgments about them. And I'm gonna read you the tiny little bit of the description down below. The samurai swordsman Masashi made a distinction between our perceiving eye and our observing eye. The observing eye sees what is, and the perceiving eye sees what supposedly means. Which one do you think causes the most anguish? And I'm gonna explain exactly why this page was so life-changing for me. So, the, so he says there's two things, the observing eye and the perceiving eye. The observing eye is basically what is, like the reality of things and our perceiving guy is what we think, what we think of the things that is going around us. Because our brain always develops different thoughts about things. And the reason why this was so life-changing for me was because my perceiving eye at this time that I told you about at the start, where I was just so hopeless, was terrible. I kept on labeling things as, you know, the worst it could be. My world was crumbling around me. I kept on saying to myself that there's no hope. There's no hope that I can actually change. But really, I was changing. I was making progress because if you look back a few months ago, I was actually much more consistent than I was back then because I didn't really see through my observing eye. I didn't see the reality of things. I didn't see that I'd actually be making progress and progress would be actually be slow. Instead, I just wanted quick results. I wanted to, you know, be extremely consistent. Instead, I used my perceiving guy and I basically just said, right, I'm not progressing. What's the point in doing this? I've lost hope now because the thing is, when we label things as hard or difficult, they will be difficult and hard. And the same way as if we label things as easy, it's going to be very easy and we're most likely going to do it. And and the reason why I wanted to make this video is because right now you are looking through your perspective eye. You're not looking through your observing eye. You're looking through a very negative lens about life. And I want you to change that because the thing is, if you maybe are going through a problem right now, you're not seeing progress in your business, you're, you just hate your life. Really, you are making progress in your business. Your life isn't that bad as it seems. It's just because of your corrupted perspective. You know, I'll just tell you a little story about my business and my journey with business. You see, I delved into this business model called copywriting around a year ago, and ever since, I've been glued to it, right? For the first few months, I felt extremely hopeless. You know, my copywriting sales were garbage. I couldn't outreach for anything. People were turning me away because I, you you know, I didn't offer them. People were turning me away because my sales skills are garbage. But you know, fast forward a few months later, I got a client, my copywriting sales were actually decent. And you know, my sales skills were decent as well. And the reason why I made this change was because I actually saw that I was making progress. In those months that, you know, I didn't really see that much hope, I was progressing much more than I thought I was. 
And as soon as I realized that, I started to work harder. I started to stop overthinking. I started to, you know, just enjoy my life more. Because when you really look through this perspective lens of life, when it's really negative, you will you will just live a very miserable life. And you won't progress, you won't want to work hard, you're just too busy overthinking about the past, about the things that don't really matter. And I guarantee if most people just adopted this observing lens instead of this perspective lens, they would progress so much faster. They would actually reach for their dreams and goals. But it's because most people look through this pers negative perspective lens, they don't progress, they don't actually meet their goals, they just stay in this miserable state of mind. And that's why I believe most people are so depressed these days, it's normal to be depressed. It's because most people just have a negative outlook on life, they're looking through this negative perspective eye. And if there's one thing I recommend, if you're going through some really tough times right now, I understand. And I really think you should get this book, because it really did change my life. If I didn't read this book, I would not be making this video. You will not ever hear about me, I will not even be on self-improvement. I would be 49 kg still and hating my life. And I have an actual step I really want you to do. Like this is non-negotiable. If you're watching this video, you have to do this, otherwise I'm gonna shoot you through the camera. In fact, you're gonna get a double elbow, okay? So you don't want that do you? What I want you to do is just completely change your mindset. If there's something going bad in your life, like, I don't know, you're not consistent with self-improvement, or maybe you're just going through a really tough time, look through the observing guy instead of the perspective eye. And as soon as you do this, as soon as you change your perspective to the reality of things, that's when all the overthinking goes. That's when all the stuff that just is miserable in your life goes. You actually start to enjoy your life. And that's not it either. You'll get just a massive advantage over everyone else. Because while everyone else is complaining, while they're all overthinking about their life, you will already be progressing. You'll be working harder. You will actually enjoy your life. You'll have a smile on your face when you're in hell. While everyone else is groaning and crying while they're in hell, you're smiling. And that's the most powerful mindset to have in my opinion. When you're in a tough times, when you actually have this resilient mindset, that's when your life changes. I want my boys who are watching this video to not be overthinking about things, to not hate their life. I want you to enjoy your life. I want you to progress much faster than everyone else. I want you to understand that this is not a normal self improvement channel. This is a movement. And the one principle of this movement that I want to carry out is that you are going to be smiling even if you're in hell. You are going to be laughing. You're going to be laughing at everyone else, crying while you're progressing, while you're actually living your life and loving it. Because you are not like the rest of them. You're not like all these self improvement kids who are complaining about income consistency because you are different you're special because you came across this video and you're part of this movement of young men who want to improve their lives who are not just on this self-improvement part-time stuff goodbye have a nice day you're gonna elbow in the face remember what i said if you do not do this actual step i'm gonna do a double whammy of an elbow in your face okay that's gonna kill you that's gonna knock you out okay so goodbye you're gonna elbow in the face again goodbye